Okay, today I want to describe uh, or illustrate the function of the uh, adjustable notch filter on the Kenwood TS890. Uh, I got this radio back in October, uh, some months ago, and I haven't figured out uh, what half these buttons and controls do, but I'm slowly learning them over the time. But I wanted to show everybody here, what I like to do every now and then is check into the noontime net on Saturday, 40 meters. And today I checked in and uh, I can't in here look at the signal noise here so the background signal noise is over nine and I can't hear anything so uh, I tuned around a little bit uh, they're on 7283 and you'll see this this carrier here right look at that the carrier is right on us right next to where this uh, check-in is so I said well let's uh, make this radio work for its money that I paid for it let me get back on here with the microphone here and uh, try to figure out what is causing that or how to get rid of it. So, on my little mini band scope thing here, I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to turn the notch filter on. And so, the notch is on. I don't know what the end means here. Uh, narrow maybe. But if, and then when you turn it on, then you move the notch now. And you'll see this little uh, pointer moving around here, right there. That's the actual notch. And when I move the control, you'll see how it, it moves. Uh, that notch, or that spur, or that carrier is right about in here someplace. And you can see that on the band scope, but my marker line is right on it. So I don't know if you can see it. But in this little mini band scope window, if I have the notch and I put the notch right over where that tone is, I can block it out. You see that? It's right there. It's pretty narrow. It comes and goes in amplitude and frequency. It stays the same place right there. But I'm going to just blink that sucker out right there and look what it does to the signal. Look at that. I'm moving the knob. Now you hear it. Now you don't. Look at that. Now I can actually hear people. Listen to that. That's incredible. I had a friend that bought a house there one time. About See, this person <clears throat> is over the noise. That's why we can hear him. But the bulk of it is not. So what I do is just move that notch right over to where that spur is. Look at that. Yeah. That is just amazing. Brought that noise back down to six, maybe five, actually. A little over five, and now I can hear people. That is so amazing.